Hi guys, Super Cameraman here. The third part of the 77th episode was the best of the previous one. And in this video, you will see that because in this video, I will share with you all the little details that I found here. And before you start, don't forget to like the video because today we will find out what new technologies do the TV man have and what does it have to do with Transformers? Did Fred survive the explosion? Can Titan survive? And who will help him this time? That and much more in this video. Let's go. Part three of episode 77 is a direct sequel to part two of the same episode. The episode begins with Cameraman reaching out to the big Cameraman. And already from here, we see the continuation of that episode. Immediately, we notice a huge number of Astro Toilets, namely seven pieces. One of the shells explodes near the Cameraman, so the recording is interrupted for a few seconds. Well, here we notice the whole G-Unit and Cameraman headed by Plunger Woman. And here, if you look more carefully, you can notice a small gluing of frames. Most likely Dafuk Boom made this moment before the rest of the fragments. I think it was animated in the second part, and after a small break, the third part starts from this moment. And you know what else I was thinking? What if Dafuk Boom already has some kind of team, and they decided to combine the two animations in this way? Next, an Astro Destroyer arrives on the scene and destroys everything in its path. In this shot, we see the camera woman and Fred. After she activated the mode of aggression, for the first time we learned about this mode from the 49th episode, when we first learned about the existence of camera woman. If earlier this mode activated a powerful cannon from under the helmet, now this cannon in the form of a huge drone, this projectile is very large, like the cannon itself, as well as the projectile is homing and is able to follow enemies at great distances. And as we can see, the very Astro Destroyer was destroyed with the help of this cannon. But the Astro is not completely destroyed, so Michael Skibidi Jackson Toilet comes to finish this toilet, and he does finish it off. After what he saw, the big cameraman shows the gesture of liking, which means that it's already time for you to put a liking on this video, too, since everything is behind us. But that's not how this huge Astro Toilet from the leak footage thinks. His eyes are red not because of the computer, but because he's an Astro Toilet. And while he had a heated shell, Fred and Camera Woman managed to retreat from the place. But the cameraman was a little unlucky because this projectile hit him. As we can see, the shockwave hit all the agents who were here. The cameraman lost his right arm and the camera woman got a slight burn. But luckily, she got over it quickly. And when camera woman grabbed her plungers to fight this huge astro toilet from the puzzle spoiler, there was a plunger man reference, specifically a reference to episode 50, when plunger man tried to single-handedly attack the toilets that were several times bigger than him. She still had a better chance than the plunger woman, because remember what it looked like, an ordinary camera cameraman without any upgrades, and of the weapons only two plungers, trying to destroy huge skibidi toilets. In this same situation, the cameraman is sufficiently upgraded for this fight, and besides, at this moment, except for this astro toilet, there was no one in her way, so she could have a one-on-one -on -one battle. So at this point, the astro toilet is laughing at camera woman, but she is already set for this fight, and so she activates additional weapons, namely the four cannons from behind, and don't forget about her aggression mode, which which is already improved and does devastating damage to anyone. And just when Camera Woman is about to attack, she is stopped at the last moment by TV Voo Man. Her screen shows that she is puzzled by the Camera Woman and finds her act inappropriate. We also notice some changes on her, immediately noticing her belt, as well as some device on her back. We will talk about these improvements very soon. Next, TV Human teleports Cameraman from the battlefield. And on the right side of the battlefield, we notice G Unit, as well as some cameramen from the second Second part, as well as cameraman scientist inside the Spider Strider. The G Squad is not at its best, so a big TV man appears, and in the tradition of TV mans, he insults them, saying, Inadequates, what are you doing here? Go away. Actually, the big TV man says this because he doesn't want this troop to die here, as there are already a lot of astro toilets in this place. And as you may have noticed during the TV man's monologue, he has a new device on his back, and it looks like the sword of one of the Decepticons from the movie Transformers. As we can see, he now has a claw on his back from the astro toilets, and more specifically from the astro scorpion. The thing is, when the scorpion lost the battle with G-Man, he 
dropped a lot of parts off his back. And after the battle, the big TV man, along with the TV scientist, picked up a few parts, including the Astro Toilet Claw. And all this time, from episode 72 to here, the TV mans have been developing these technologies. And now we see that the big TV man has two claws in the back that have an Astro Scorpion effect, meaning the big TV man can use any projectile against those who fired them. And here is a demonstration of the ability. One of the Astros unleashed a large shot on the Alliance, and look what the TV man did. He simply took and split that energy projectile into two projectiles, and further already sent two counter-strikes back. And along with this counter-strike, he said, Now it's my turn. The big Astro toilet certainly didn't like this pathos, so he decided to stop the battle at a distance, and started approaching the squad, destroying everything in his path. He almost crushed the operator, but fortunately, at the last moment, he used the turbines to take off. He starts shooting at the squad, and then a TV man Titan appears from somewhere with a teleport, saving all the agents who are here. And then he says, someone's gonna die, and it's not me. This phrase is actually a reference to the leak puzzle that we've been doing. Who hasn't watched this video, you can watch it by clicking on the top right corner. So the text in this spoiler belonged to TV man Titan. Also, if we look in the description under this episode, we see that it says, the cameramen face real problems and then someone comes to the rescue. So this means TV Man Titan, as he saves all the wounded cameramen, as well as the G-Team. This big Astro toilet continues its attack, but now it attacks TV Man Titan, but he easily repels all the projectiles with his sword, and then fires with his core. But for a big Astro toilet like this, such shots are ridiculous. So he starts to attack Titan's TV Man right away, and then starts to use his mouth to break one of Titan's screens. But the TV Man hits him right in the center of the Astro toilet's core, and after that, the Astro's energy is immediately gone. The TV man continues to strike, but now in the head, and when the Astro toilet falls to the ground, he activates his head defense, but it doesn't save him, as TV man Titan kills him. Then someone shoots at him, causing the Titan to lose another screen, and as it turns out, it was another big Astro toilet, but already in the drill. I could be wrong, but in the background, just flew an egg, and it tried to destroy this toilet, but it was hit. I have one big theory about this. I think it has something to do with balls. If we get 777 likes on this video, I will share all the information with you, and there, as you know, will be an exclusive. Then, as we can see, this Astro has four legs, with which he was able to jump on the head of the TV Man Titan. And here is a very strange detail. Please look at the TV Man Titan's screen. At this point, his screen is very badly cracked, but after a few seconds, his screen recovers. There are two possibilities here. Either Titan has the ability to recover, or it's a gaffe by Defuk and just a poor choice of angle, or the joining of two animations. Next, the Titan throws the toilet to the ground and finishes it off with his sword and core. Normally, he sets fire with his screen instead of his core, but since the screen was cracked, the TV man couldn't use it. Next, the TV man Titan turns to the remaining wounded agents and says, Your Titan would not want you to die needlessly. Get out! Leave while you still can. Next, another Astro Toilet arrives at the TV Man, but in medium size. This is the first time we notice that the Titan TV Man also has a defense field on his arm. The TV Man is too slow for this toilet, and seeing this, the Astro transforms into its special position for fast attack and starts throwing a lot of punches at the Titan. The last blow was purposely to the legs to make the Titan fall over. TV Man mocks him by saying that he is too slow and the Astro Toilet starts destroying the Titan even harder. And if it wasn't for Fred's shot, at this point, there would be nothing left of the Titan. As we can see, everyone is gone, but except Fred. And in fact, it was the cameraman who saved the TV man. And you're probably thinking Fred's dead, but he's not. If we zoom in, we can see that when Fred fell to the ground, his lens continued to glow, indicating that his energy was still intact. Seeing all this, the TV man rises to his feet and just destroys this Astro Toilet into small pieces. Next, he takes off his helmet and just finishes him off with his hands. TV woman and big TV man teleported back to the same spot. The big one turns to the Titan and says, You did good, bro. And then the elite TV man appears and says that they teleported everyone to the base and then offers 
orders the Titan to get away from here, calling him Big Brother. As we can see, such improved blades have both TV Man and Elite TV Man. But suddenly, the very same squad I talked about in the analysis video about the leak puzzle appears. Titan has barely dealt with those Astro Toilets, and now he's got three more coming in, and when he sees them, he says, Pathetic trash? Then he adds, give me someone worthy of a fight, and it's probably a Kung Fu Panda reference. And then the Astro Juggernaut comes in and says, you're not running away this time. And that concludes part three of episode 77. This episode from the previous parts was the best. In the fourth part, TV Man Titan will have to fight alone with three fast Astro Toilets, led by Astro Juggernaut. This toilet was last seen in episode 75. Juggernaut will fight to the last man, as he will be avenging his little Juggernaut that was destroyed in the same episode. As you might have noticed, Big TV Man, TV Woo Man, and Elite TV Man didn't teleport, and maybe they will help Titan in this battle, at least take on those three Astro Toilets while Titan will fight Juggernaut. But of course, the Titan doesn't have that much strength to fight that Astro Toilet alone, so he'll have someone else helping him. You've probably figured out who that is by now. Yes, G-Man. This is the perfect moment to show up and help TV Man Titan. This way, G-Man will show his intentions for a temporary alliance between the Alliance and Skibidi Toilets. After all, until now, TV Man Titan and G-Man have not met. Their last meeting was not very successful, so this situation will be in favor of G-Man to create an alliance because we should not forget that the Alliance needs first of all G-Man, because it is because of him Astro Toilets began to destroy the planet Earth. By the way, the fourth part will be the last part in the 77th episode, because in the last interview, when you asked Daffobum questions, he told about it. If G-Man appears in the fourth part, he will already be in the form of Titan. Otherwise, he won't be able to defeat so many Astro Toilets. And if you have watched the video up to this point, I would be glad to have your like and subscribe to the channel, because it motivates me to create more videos for you. Well, with you was as always Super Cameraman. See you in the next videos. Bye.